what's up everyone today we're working on Randall's 91 Toyota Supra uh, we're gonna start pulling the head off and to check and see um, what's going on with cylinder one um, and if you're tuning into our channel for the first time just to give a little background on this car Randall had a 2003 WRX that he traded for this I did <laughs> Um, so when he got the car, we thought it had a blown turbo, which it probably did, right? Yeah. So we replaced the turbo on it, um, and that, and then Randall was able to do a compression check, and we found out that on cylinder one, he only had 50 pounds of pressure. So we're going to take the cylinder head off and see what's going on inside. Get it? Oh yeah. So I'm thinking. I think it's leaving the exhaust being cold on there. Yeah, I would. Because I'm gonna leave that short little stubby piece of the, the intake man hold on. It'd be easier to grab. Okay, so we got the intake manifold off, turbo off, valve covers off, belts off. So now that all we have to do is break the head bolts loose and uh, pull the head off. taking the, the cam gears off make sure you do not lose these pins because they don't exist oh all right the cam caps are labeled intake has an I and then you'll have a new uh, number after it and there's also an arrow this one is pointing the wrong way <laughs> the arrow is supposed to point towards the front of the motor, like so. So just make sure you pay attention. Just to clarify, we did not put those on the wrong way. The previous owner did.
So that concludes pulling the head off Marla, the 7M Supra. Next we'll be inspecting the block in the head to see what actually caused the low compression. Make sure you check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and go to snrmotoring.com to get one of these shirts. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you. Take it easy.